Hello everyone! In this tutorial we're going to have a look at the Mega Menu feature that is available in Botiga Pro. First of all we need to activate this feature. We're going to go to the back end of our website and go to Team Dashboard here under Appearance. Click on Team Features. Locate the Mega Menu module and click on Activate. Once it's active we can simply click on Customize here. And we can start building our, our menu. We're going to click here. Let's give it a more descriptive name. And we just need to click on Botiga menu options here. And we have to turn this item into a mega menu. We can choose the number of columns. We can choose the width if we want it contained or full width. The offset from the top for each uh, drop down. And of course we have styling options, but we're going to get into that later. So let's just save for now. And you can see how Botiga automatically generates some examples. So we have columns, three columns. And for each column we have two items. Of course, we can now start editing, editing these columns and items. But first of all, let's save our menu. Go to the home page, refresh. And let's see what we have so far. So this is how it looks like. Three columns, each with two items. Let's go back. Let's have a look at one of the columns, for example, first. We're going to click on Botiga menu options. And you can see we have a couple of options here. So we can choose the width, we can alter the padding, or we can change the content type. So it can be default or custom HTML or a shortcut. Let's go to one of the items now. Let's see this one right here. Again, we have to click on the Botiga menu options button. We can make this item a heading. So let's do that first, see how it looks like can also display a divider. Let's save our menu. Go back to the front end. Okay, here it is. The first uh, item is now uh, heading. We can also remove the link from it because we don't need it, since we want it to be just a heading. Okay. Now let's go to the second item in this column. We don't want this to be a heading, we just want it to be a regular content item. So let's go to content type. And we can select custom HTML. This can be anything you need. Save the menu, go to the front end. And here's our item. Let's go back. Let's have a quick look at some of these styling, styling options. So we just have to go to the main uh, item. Okay. We can change the padding, the color, we can add an image as background. Let's change the background color for now, for example. Let's say something like this. Uh, colors for the, uh, the dividers, the headings, regular text, hover. Let's save it and see the background color. And you can see the background color I've chosen. Okay, one uh, more thing you can do. If you need to add a lot of custom content to your mega menu, you can use the templates builder. Let's go here, team features. We're going to activate the templates builder module and we're going to build mega menu items with it. Let me show. I'm going to add a new template. Give it a name. Select content block here. And let's say you want to add the 
button. Okay, just publish it. Go back to the menu. Go to the item I was working on, so this one right here. And from content type, simply select custom content block. And here is our template. Save it. Save the menu. Go back to the front end and refresh. And here's my button. Of course, you can add uh, any block you need. If you're an Elementor user, you can use that to build your template and add the template here. So let's go back. Let's go back to Botiga templates. So this same template right here with the button. I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. I'm going to remove this. Add a new section. And I can add anything I need here. Let's say for example a map maybe. So just like that. I'm not going to make any changes. Just update it. Go back to the front end and refresh. And here's my map. That's it. Thank you for watching.